We are tracking how the state's power grid is holding up. Right now, ERCOT reporting normal grid conditions, meaning there's plenty of power to meet current demand. And we're keeping a close eye, making sure the demand indicated by the teal line there in the graphic stays below the supply seen in the purple. Lauren Tallarico has been working to get you answers about the reliability of the power grid and how prepared it is for this week's heat wave. Lauren. Yes, will your AC stay on? A good question considering ERCOT is projecting a record breaking demand for energy this week. When the heat goes up, the AC units go on. And this week, KHOU 11 meteorologists forecast at least six triple digit days in a row. It's going to be an expensive couple of weeks. Expect your electricity bills to be much higher. David Kinchin with Energy Ogre says even though your wallet may suffer, we hopefully won't. Really, for the average person, this should be um, a really kind of calm event. Right now, ERCOT projects the highest energy demand to be Friday, June 16th at 81,683 megawatts watts, smashing the all-time record of 80,038 megawatts set last July. Why do we keep breaking energy records in Texas? Simply put, because people keep moving here. The Public Utility Commission says from 2008 to 2022, our population grew by 24 percent, but Texas only added 1.5 percent in dispatchable power, like coal plants. However, the good news is we've had some generation growth over time. We have, you know, more wind and certainly more solar. Wind, solar, dispatchable power and battery power are what make up ERCOT's supply. ERCOT says right now all these combined should be enough to get us through this heat wave. Although Kinchin says don't be surprised if we're asked to help out. And ERCOT might send out notices on certain days. They might possibly ask for conservation. So this year, ERCOT launched an alert system so that we could be warned about things like conservation notices. So far, I'm told only 2,300 people have signed up for it. If you'd like to, we have all those details for you on our website, khou.com. Back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you.